guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be comparing a fake uh, Hermes Birkin bag. And, uh, this is a fake one, this is the real one. Uh, I'm going to give you first some information about the Hermes bag. Uh, this one is in the in the leather buffalo, which is a very water resistant leather made from the hides of water buffalo. Uh, the some interesting facts that you might uh, not know or may know about the uh, Birkin bag is that uh, first it comes in uh, different sizes, which is the 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, and 55 centimeters. This one is 35 centimeter. The next thing is that the Birkin was actually named by the uh, actress and singer Jane Birkin. Uh, the Birkin bag uh, is completely done by hand. This is why it is so uh, special and everyone wants to get it. And also you have a really long waiting list uh, to, get, uh, to buy the Hermes bag. Uh, the colors that the Hermes bags come in are black, white, brown, navy blue, olive green, orange, pink, powder blue, red and golden tan. Uh, I'm going to start to talk about the, how the differences that we can actually see. So first is the shape and the, the texture to it. The first moment that you get to see the real bags, you can actually smell the leather from the real one. And it's a very, uh, it's very different to the touch. Here it feels like it has a cardboard inside. And in this one is very delicate and it looks like it is completely just leather. And uh, that's it. It hardly stays to shape because it's very delicate. I've put some in, uh, on the inside, I've put some things so it can maintain its shape. And the fake one is actually very hard to handle, and it also takes uh, it, and it also holds the shape uh, very straight, not delicate at all. The second thing we are going to talk about are the stitching. As you can see, the stitching over here is the same color as the bag, and you can hardly see it over here. And also to the feel, you cannot even feel the stitches at all. It feels like it's complete leather. On the fake one, the stitches are very different color. I should uh, also disclaim that this is like a medium replica. There are better replicas in the market. Uh, the stitching is very white. It's completely different color from the bag. And uh, when you feel them, you can tell the difference of the leather and the stitching. It doesn't look uniform at all. I'm going to continue on the hardware in the middle. So here we have uh, gold hardware and in the fake one it's a silver hardware. The first thing you notice is that uh, there is a piece of leather, as you can see, that it should be outlined the hardware. So if you can see on the original one, uh, the piece of leather is completely outlined uh, very regularly on the, uh, it's like 0 0.1 centimeter as you can see over here and it is completely straight and outlined the hardware and on this side on the fake one you have like this uh, little um, outline here but on the uh, end you do not have any piece of leather as you can see i don't know if i'm very clear the next thing that you should notice is hermes in paris uh that is written it's in uh, it's written in gold as is the hardware so it looks like it is engraved and if you can touch it it feels just uh, very delicately engraved over here and then you have here on the fake side it's also written hermes paris and this completely looks stamped it doesn't look engraved it is in silver but it looks completely stamped when you open this up you are supposed to get here a code which is in the square uh, you have 027 and the code is uh, M, it's written in the square here. When you open this up, you can see more information on our, on our articles on Brands Blogger. And then when you open this up, you only have this square, which I don't think it has any anything written in it. I can see it. Um, maybe 02, I'm not sure what do I, I'm seeing in there. And once again, the stitching is completely different. It has these uh, four metal pieces, which you can barely tell. And you can, uh, on the fake one, you can tell very well. Uh, the second thing that you may notice from the other side, they are completely, okay, there is nothing there. Uh, continuing, we are going to open the bag and here you get to see the stem, Hermes Paris made in France. The letters are uh, written very differently because 
here as you can see is completely stamped it's also in silver as is the hardware of the bed the age is completely different if you look uh, closely and you can also see the pictures uh, on the brand's blogger for closer look uh, it's uh, okay uh, so here is the main difference i'm going to put the camera a bit closer so you can tell and this is from the fake side okay uh, i'm going to talk about the handles for a bit the handles are very soft the leather is very soft uh, but it maintains the shape even though that is very uh very nice to the touch and on the fake one this is very hard it once again looks like it has like a cardboard inside uh, and you can it doesn't hold the shape very nice as you can see it's very different i'm going to turn this from the side to see some differences uh, once again the shape of this uh, this the fake one goes completely uh, not straight it goes like this all the time even though it was maintained in a very good um, condition uh, and then you, as you can see from the side, you cannot see like a huge difference it's, except from uh, this part because it's a medium replica, it's not very good replica. And then I'm going to turn this from the back. As you can see from the back, once again, the stitching is very uh, done in the same color as the bag. You can hardly tell them that they are there. And then you have this part over here, which is actually sewed in the bag you can see and in this side is also sewed the stitching is different once again and you can see that there is like a huge uh, gap here and in the original one you do not have a huge gap in each, either of them but in the thick one you have a huge gap um i do not see any other differences in here maybe the size this is way larger than it's on the real one and then they try to imitate the stitching here in this area and also the, it is inside of everything. I think that they've done quite somehow a good job. And then I'm going to turn this on the back. So uh, once again, they've tried to imitate it completely, uh, but the shape here, this is like complete round, if you can see it very close by. And in this one, uh, it comes round, but it becomes wider on the end. I'm going to turn it it is not like very uh, good, like if, if you can see here, it's completely round, but in the original one, it comes very wide to the end and it opens up. And then you have this piece of leathering, the stitching once again looks like this, you have very bad uh, everything, like because the color maybe it's not done very nicely and everything has fallen out. Uh, I think this is a cardboard, I'm not so the first thing uh, I forgot to tell you is the stitching. If you can look closer, because the Hermes bag is completely done by, by hand, you do not have like very uh, equal differences from each of the stitching. It, it, it looks that it's done by hand, whereas in the fake, it looks that it is done by a machine. It's completely regular and uh, it looks uh, not in the very artisanal way that the Hermes bag is done. If you look on the inside, here on the end, uh, there are two pockets. One is with a zip and the other one is without a zip. Uh, on the zip one, you have written here Hermes inside. Let's take a closer look. And one other thing, this, uh, this is the real bag. The one thing that you should always look out, uh, the stitching is done very nicely. And if you can see, there is like, uh, after this insert over here, you, can, you have this piece of fabric, the same color of the bag, but it isn't loose. It's very tight. And uh, there is a huge uh, mark over there you, that you have to spot on the original one and on the fake one. And when you open the fake one, you once again, have two pockets one of the pocket is uh, with the zip and the other one is without the zip the stitching is completely different uh, color from the bag and uh, you have uh, this piece of insert over here which looks completely like put there it's not like it goes with the same uh, way that the bag goes and on the on the uh, fabric side uh, you have very loose fabric as you can see over here it's not very tight to the back this is the inside and on the zipper it uh, is also written hermes as is on the original one 
not many differences to notice around the back so this is the inside okay so these were the main differences of the Hermes Birkin uh, you can uh, the retail price for the Hermes Birkin 35 is uh, $1,200 uh, and you can never like find it because you have to go through a huge waiting list you have to buy many of their items in the shop so this bag is uh, certainly bought second hand uh, the fake one, I don't remember, it has been bought many years ago, but I think around $300. Uh, as you can see, once again, because we mentioned, it is uh, having some fallout. I don't know if you guys think it's a good investment, because in the second-hand market, you can definitely resell the Hermes for twice its price. Maybe $20,000, $18,000, $18,000, so uh, I don't know, I really like the Hermes bag, and uh, my next purchase, I think it will be a Kelly one. Let me know what you think. Do you like this color? Which one would you get uh, if you were to buy a Hermes bag? Uh, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below.